What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and it's been a while since I made one of these, but I wanted to share some awesome new Cydia tweaks with you guys. And we all know you can no longer jailbreak, so the people that still have a jailbreak, I want to still keep you guys updated on the latest Cydia tweaks, latest and greatest stuff that will enhance your device, make it prettier, and add a lot of functionality to it. I really love making these. So, of course, you guys do need to be jailbroken. If you're on 9.1, there's no hope for you anymore, but if you're on 9.0.2 or lower, you can still jailbreak and get all these cool things up there. Now, you guys will need a lot of custom sources for these. There's at least three or four in here that do need uh, sources, so you wanna get all those down there, as well as some bonus tweaks and the full list and this awesome wallpaper I'm using. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right in, and I'm gonna be showing you the next collection of top 10 iOS nine Cydia tweaks. So what you're seeing going on in the background of my phone, that's called Weatherboard 2. And it's probably one of my favorite outstanding Cydia tweaks. It's just been updated for iOS 9 and man, it does look great. It's a little more apparent from the lock screen. So I've got an extreme thunderstorm going on in the background. But the cool thing about it is that you can actually set it to uh, display the current weather of where you're located right now. So for me, for example, I would see a ton of rain going down right now because it's raining very hard outside. But the other cool thing is you can either get an over overlay on your wallpaper or get some custom themes. So in the actual settings right here, you can overlay your uh, current wallpaper or you can set a new theme. So let's go ahead and walk through these. I want to show you guys some cool ones. So here is uh, the regular thunderstorm and then there's severe, the hurricane. So lots of stuff flying, debris in the background. Uh, we got dust fog so it's really really cool and it's very smooth i haven't noticed any degradation in performance uh, battery life i don't know yet i haven't been using it long enough to tell but it seems very well optimized i mean absolutely beautiful so depending on where you're at you'll actually get different themes if you want to set it for that but let's see snow showers so get into the festive spirit right here snow flurries really really cool stuff and heavy snow blowing snow that is awesome. So this is a custom theme. There we go. So get into the Christmas spirit coming soon. Now, if we actually go back right here, you can use your current location of where you're at, so, or a certain city, and you'll get that weather in the background, either on your lock screen or not. And right here's day and nighttime effects. So absolutely love this theme. Get some really, really cool backdrops, no matter where you're at in iOS 9. So next is Eternum. Now this isn't just Eternum, this is Eternum Hive. So this is a custom theme for Eternum. And if you guys don't know, Eternum has been updated for iOS 9, basically get the Apple Watch interface on iOS. I'm going to respring and show you what this is about. So you guys can get a cool theme with the Apple Watch icons and you can get it set in different patterns. Mine's set in diamond right now, but that's not what the Hive is. The Hive is actually an Apple Watch inspired theme where all of your apps will appear in clumps, very similar to this guy right here. And uh, let's go ahead and enable it. So in the settings, just select Hives and respring. And now when you actually zoom out, you'll notice that all of the apps are clumped into these little hives right here. So it looks just like a beehive, the same uh, format of the theme on the Apple Watch. So cool thing about this uh, tweak is that you can actually enable 3D touch and it pops up in the top left right there and just experienced a glitch. <laughs> but there we go, the options right there. So really cool, and it's still very intuitive. You can move around all the apps, do the usual, but it's a cool theme, something different for iOS. And the fact that there's a new theme for it, you know, makes it worth getting. All right, so check this out. This is called CC Clean, and optimize your control center and make it look a lot cleaner. So pretty much it allows you to make it look better and remove certain functions that you don't use in them. I, for example, removed the media player and it shrinks it so much. Now, I personally like the control center to be very, very small. So let's go ahead and remove AirDrop right here and uh, do so. So in the settings for C Clean, uh, CC Lean, how do they say that? I don't know. So in here, you can actually uh, remove the background of certain aspects of this thing. So you can actually change the look and make it look cleaner by removing this background for brightness and airdrop. Let me show you what it looks like without this enabled. See how they have a different background color. With that enabled, it makes it flush and the color look all the same. So let's say I want to remove the airdrop. Go over here to let's hide crap and remove airdrop airplay. Go ahead and respring and now take a look at that. I love how small and clean the control center looks. So remove features you don't use to get a neat clean look for the control center. And what you guys are seeing down here, this is Harbor. So you can add as many apps as you want to your dock. Uh, there we go. Let's drop another one down there. 
and you get a smaller and smaller dock. So this is OS 10 inspired. And now when you actually swipe your finger over the apps, they'll jump up just like this, giving you a really cool effect. Whichever one uh, you stay on, it'll pop into that application. They're really good stuff. And I like how you can put as much as you want in there. So, you know, there's no limit to how many apps you can put down there. And you can actually change some of the physics in here, animation duration, how far it pops up from the dock. And there's a lot of stuff you can do in here. Uh, a lot of settings for this, but I like how elegant this animation is, you know, taken straight from OS 10, but it looks really cool on iOS. And next is a really useful small city of tweak that's well hidden in iOS. So enable some quick uh, restart options such as reboot, safe mode, or shutdown in here. So whenever you enable the power menu, go ahead and tap on this guy right here with a power tap, you guys will get different options. So one tap will equal a reboot, another tap will equal a respring, another one will put your device into safe mode and then go back to power mode. I like how it's well hidden it doesn't interfere with anything else it's just a hidden feature that's nice to have sometimes you just got to put your phone into safe mode or the option to reboot is really awesome too so really cool check this out ios 5 and ios 6 is making a comeback on the new iphone 6s so get classic lock screen to bring the old look back and all of your nostalgia. So it's really cool. The fact that you get uh, the same look back from iOS 5 and iOS 6, the camera slider or grabber, uh, the classic slide to unlock from the older iPhones and it works really well, looks cool. When you actually double tap, you get the old media controls as well. And when plugging into charge, check it out. You get the old uh, charging look as well. So I thought that was a really nice touch. Now there are some theming settings as well. You can actually remove the camera grabber if you don't like that there. Uh, there's a lot of settings in here, but what I like is the fact that you can change up the theme in here so you can get a dark mode, a modern mode. The reason you get this is for the classic look and that's what this does. Bring back all those memories and the interesting detailing from iOS 5 and iOS 6. All right, so this is one I can't really show you guys because it's all about the feeling, but key vibe or haptic pro. So pretty much enable haptic feedback for the keyboard on iOS. Now key vibe is limited to 6S and 6S plus because it uses the new Taptic engine which will not work with older devices and it's free. However, Haptic Pro is paid and works with all devices, but it's really, really cool to be able to use that engine and get a really nice feedback when typing. I promise you guys, if you try this out, it's absolutely free on 6S and 6S Plus, you won't want to uninstall it. I just love the feedback and the motor in here, the, uh, the Taptic engine, it feels so cool. So uh, I'll find myself just tapping on it just to experience that feeling, but really, really cool. I absolutely love it. And here's a classic, uh, just updated for iOS 9, one that's a lifesaver. So say you wanna send a message to someone, send delay helps you prevent you know future headaches by giving you a certain amount of time to stop the message from being sent. So this could actually help in some really sticky situations. If you spelled something wrong, if you didn't spell duck, but the other word, <laughs> but you can actually change the allotted amount of time for this to stop working. So I think it's default at three seconds. So it turns red and you can stop the message from being sent, which is really cool. There's just one setting inside of the actual settings. Actually default is 1.5 seconds. You can uh, take that up to three seconds, save yourself some really troubling headaches in the future. Now here's a really cool Cydia tweak that's brand new and takes advantage of 3D touch in Cydia. So now with 6S and 6S plus enabled devices, when you have Cydia and you 3D touch on it, you get these options. Refresh repos, add a repo, recent installations, and you can search Cydia straight from here. But it's not just limited to that. Not like most apps that are being released nowadays that just have the 3D touch on the app icon. This goes inside and adds peek and pop to inside of here as well. So let's say I wanna search for something now when you hold on it, you can peek and pop into that, read the description, pop out of it, go into the next one to do the same thing. Really, really cool, you know, peek and pop and 3D touch enabled Cydia. Why haven't we thought of this before? So for Reddit fans, here's a Cydia tweak. It actually adds the Reddit uh, feed into your spotlight search. So the top posts will appear right here so you can easily browse through them, start your day off right by wasting time here, <laughs> but really cool. 
And of course, it's not in any way connected to the Reddit application. It just takes it straight from the internet source. But see the top posts from Reddit right here using Spotify. And this does require a custom source, but it's absolutely free. And guys, those are the next top 10 iOS 9 Cydia tweaks. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I absolutely love finding new tweaks. It's just a shame that we don't have a jailbreak for the latest iOS 9 version. I am keeping an eye out for any news on the 9.1 jailbreak, but as of now, you know, nobody's confirmed that they're working on it. We have no word at all if it's going to happen or if it's going to happen on a later firmware. But for those of you that are hanging on to your jailbreak, I'll be posting more of these top 10 city of tweak videos. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy all of these latest tweaks. Peace.